Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus, aka The Mad Dog, and we're back with another video. So if you're somebody who month after month looks through all the solicitations, looks through all the upcoming books, you might have noticed that there's one that's coming up recently that's caused a little bit of confusion. For a brief period of time last year, this was actually a bit of a whale because you couldn't really get it anywhere, it had gone out of print, and people didn't think that it was ever going to get a reprint. And then the solicitation came and it actually annoyed quite a lot of people, myself included, because they were doing an expanded edition. What this meant is that they were bringing out a better version than this one that was basically punishing anybody that was actually willing to buy this book when it first came out. And obviously there's a collector's mentality that comes with this hobby that people feel like they need every single book and they need the best version of the book that they can get. I understand that but as the unofficial, unassigned and unqualified accountant of the YouTube comic community, I thought it was worthwhile to sit down with you guys and make a video saying if this is a book that you should double dip, skip or maybe you should actually upgrade. The first part of this video is going to be addressing what exactly is Super Sons. Because you never know, it might be the case that you don't want this omnibus at all, it might be something that just doesn't appeal to you. That's perfectly fine, you're not going to be blocked from in-stock trades, you're never going to be allowed to set foot in a comic shop again if it is that you don't have one of these omnibuses. So Super Sons follows the story of Damian Wayne and John Kent as they go on a coming of age type story as they try to become their own heroes and live outside of the shadow of their parents. And just for the sake of this video being comprehensive for the one person who might not already know, Damian Wayne is the son of Bruce Wayne and John Kent is the son of Clark Kent. Damian, and because of the fact that he's a character that from birth has kind of been instilled with these skills to be able to lead the League of assassins. He has quite a dominating personality that doesn't initially rub off well against John Kent considering the fact that he's got all these superpowers similar to his dad and it causes a lot of friction between the two in a similar style to what you'd see in like an 80s buddy cop action film. Over the course of the original run which is collected in the omnibus that's behind me right now, they end up teaming up with Lex Luthor to try and save the JLA. You see Damien confront his destiny and the planet's been in place for him since birth. You watch as the Super Sons embark on the first meeting and mission with the Teen Titans and they star in what is pretty much the equivalent of the comic book version of the Terminators starring Tim Drake. I read a large chunk of this run in single issues quite a few years ago and it is fun but I can't really say it's a book that you're missing out on if you haven't read it. I think it's not one of those must reads that everybody needs to pick up and I think how much enjoyment you get from this book depends on how much you can relate to these two characters and if you can love the goofy nature of John and you can also kind of look past the unforgiving overly violent nature of Damien. So that's basically a story of what the storyline is that crosses over between the two omnibuses and now I'm just going to compare what was in the original that's gone out of print but seems to be available in quite a few places and the expanded edition that's going to be released later this month. So I'm going to read off the solicitation from the iPad I've got it on here, I haven't got it written on my hand or anything like that and hilariously in the original solicitation it did say that this was the complete collection. But the original omnibus contains Super Sons issues 1 to 16, Super Sons annual issue 1, Superman issues 10 to 11 and 37 to 38, Teen Titans issue 15 and a story from DC Rebirth Holiday Special. It had 608 pages and a cover price of $75. By comparison the expanded edition has all of that material but it also has the Super Sun slash Dynamot special issue 3 and the Adventures of the Super Suns issues 1 to 12. This expanded edition clocks in at 888 pages and it has a cover price of $99.99. I'm not going to get into the price per page value here, that's for a later video so make sure you subscribe. But the only real difference between these two omnibuses is pretty much the Adventure of the Super Suns issues 1 to 12. From what I've seen this is pretty much a story about the Super Suns going back in time and having adventures in the past. It is still written by Peter J. Tomas but I do believe that the artist changes. And if the artist doesn't change, I'm sure there is going to be somebody in the comments that feels the need to correct me. But from being honest, I haven't heard anybody talk about this maxi series, and it doesn't really seem like it's something that you need to read. Obviously, the only opinion that should really influence your buying decisions is your own. But as well, in case you didn't know, there is two trade paperbacks that are The Adventures of the Super Sons Volume 1 and Volume 2, and that will contain the entire maxi series between the two. So if you are happy to cross over between the two mediums, you can get what is pretty much in the expanded omnibus by just having the original omnibus up here and then those two trade paperbacks. But the point of the matter is that I don't really think that you need to rush out and spend money that you don't necessarily need to on the expanded edition of the Super Sons Omnibus. But I think pretty much anybody watching this falls into one of four categories. The first is somebody that's never owned the Super Sons Omnibus before and didn't have an intention to. The second is somebody who owned the original Super Sons Omnibus and doesn't know if they should upgrade. The third is somebody who wanted the original Super Sons Omnibus then maybe it went to a price that they weren't happy with and they don't know if now's the best time to buy the expanded edition. And the fourth is for like the three people who just see that I've put up a video and really want to support this channel so they click on it anyway, you're probably my favourite. But if you're in that first group and you've never owned the Super Sons Omnibus before and you don't really know too much about it, I would definitely recommend reading one of the samples that's available on Amazon and seeing if it's something that's for you. I think because it is quite light-hearted and goofy and it's got child characters, it might not be a story that interests everybody. So the best way that you can save your money is by buying neither Omnibus and just seeing if it's a book that you want to on your shelf to begin with. If you're in the second group and you're wondering if you should upgrade, I'd 
recommend not doing it because of the fact that it is a bit of a waste of money. You might lose money because you're probably going to have to try and sell that one anyway. So because that expanded version's out, anybody who didn't have it before is just going to get that version over this inferior version now. So you're going to have to offer it at a massively reduced price. And also, I just think it advocates for shitty practices from DC. Like they've done it with Super Sons and they're also doing it with Swamp Thing where we got the Swamp Thing by Scott Snyder Deluxe Edition and then that went out of print and then they bring out the Swamp Thing New 52 Omnibus. They did it with the New Teen Titans Omnibus where they basically scrapped the original three just to come out with these new versions. And I think if we keep buying into it, especially people who've already got this copy so they don't actually need that expanded edition, we're just advocating and allowing DC to continue doing that. And then it begs the question, where exactly will it stop? When will DC stop making previous Omnibuses that loyal fans have brought completely obsolete? But if you're the third group and you somehow missed out on the original Omnibus and you haven't been able to find it since, I'd definitely recommend buying the expanded edition. You're not really losing out on anything because of the fact that you know you want the book, but you also didn't manage to get it in this format before, so you're not really going to lose any money. But I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. There's no point waffling on much longer than I already have. Hopefully it's helped you guys decide if you need to upgrade, double dip, or skip. And I think if there's going to be other omnibuses in future that do this, then I'm going to continue on with this format. But if there's any books that have been solicited that you want to see me break down and analyse and see if it's something that maybe should be worth factoring into your budget, then just leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get around to it as soon as possible. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's primarily made because I'd just like to try and help people save money. I know obviously this one isn't going to be for everybody, but if it's helped one person, then it's definitely been worth doing. But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, why did you get this far? Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I don't really have a schedule when my videos are coming out. I try and work my best as quickly as I can on each and every video, whilst at the same time not sacrificing any kind of quality. So it could be tomorrow that another video comes up, or it could be five days from now. But the way that you can ensure that you never miss out on a video is clicking that bell notification down below. There are two other ways, and that's following me on my social media links up here. And I also make sure that I try to put up as much comic content on there as I can. And if you do want to support the channel and maybe buy the Super Sons Omnibus, it is greatly appreciated. I'm not going to ask for Patreon or anything like that. All they ask is that you use one of the Amazon affiliate links down below. I can't see any of your details and it doesn't increase the price. It just means that eventually there is going to be some money coming into this channel. But that's the video for now and hopefully it's helped at least a few of you. But just make sure that you stay safe, keep reading and keep barking all your mad dogs and I'll see you at the next video.